All right, let's get this day going. How you feeling? You recharged? Uh, you know, I'm there. We got a little bear here. Look at this. Woof, woof, woof. Woof, woof is the bear. Wait, did the bear go woof, woof? Bears go. Oh, yeah, like a woof, woof. Woof, woof. No, that, that's, that's not how it works. But we are a little bearish. Uh, no big deal. But today we're going to talk about, first, we're going to discuss a couple things. Uh, first part is um, how we doing on the market, what we talked about last week. On Tuesday, we called out five or six plays. So um, guess what? We're going to go over that first and see how we do it. We've been on a roll, man. Everything you've been calling out has been pretty all right, right? Let's see here. Hold on. Let me just get in our groove here. That's our thing. We always get in the groove first. All right. All right. Let's see here. Give me my stuff here. What are you doing? Take it. All right. How's everybody doing, man? If you're in here, if, you're, if it's your first time, say hello. If it's not your first time, say hi. And guess what? We got our mascot in the building as usual. Say hi, Bella. Hello, Bella. All right. So give some hearts to Bella. All right, Bella, you ready to do some stocks? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Me too. All right. So let's first talk about what happened this week. So we called out a few plays. I want to first review that and going into that. Let's just go into our screen right to it. We are all about business, right? And even though the market is doing whatever, we are still picking out winning bullish plays because that's what we do. And not only that, you guys are picking it out. You guys are picking it out, not me. So we're going to look at the market in a second. What are the plays we picked out? So you can. I square them over here. Okay. So these are a couple plays I picked out yesterday. Uh, I mean, Tuesday. And I just want to show you real quick. It's a lot easier to see. We were right here on Tuesday around here. So it went anywhere from $23 all the way to $24.67. Doesn't seem like a big move with options. I know I, I myself looked at that. It was a 33% profit play. So can't go wrong with that one. Um, another one we had was, help me out here, yeah. Caterpillar. Again, I, I said I liked it. And if you would have played it from, you know, we called this out over here. Right. We talk about yeah. Yeah. This so was like a continuation. Yeah, this was a continuation play. I said, don't get out of it, and I hope you did not, because if you go back to right here, this would have been around one ninety two wish, around one ninety two, all the way to two seventeen. I mean, realistically, right now you could have made an easy six hundred percent profit, if not even more. But here's what's cool about this. Here's what's cool. I told you guys, once it hits here, be careful. And look, it hit exactly to that point. So our exit strategy worked exactly perfectly. What's up, Victor? How are you, man? Essence Floyd, welcome. One of our new members in the paid section. One of our elites, Brian C. Johnson, Brad Pratt, Jamal Choice. What's up, man? Thank you, everybody, for joining today. So, yeah. Man, I, I'm telling you, if you just play the stuff we're giving you here, it's kind of crazy. Again, our goal is to really teach you how to do it the right way. That's why if you don't know how to trade yet, if you don't know our ways, the first thing ways to do it is get our webinar. Just comment webinar below and we'll send it to you. Uh, this one was here as well. This one we called out two days ago. Um, I still like it. Yeah. And again, it was around here. I remember this one was around 20, uh, I would say 29. It went to 32. So great play here. Um, it's beginning to consolidate. So I would have just gotten out at this point. It, uh, you know, do I think it's going to, it's done? Probably not, but I, I would just collect the profits. Again, three for three so far. Let's go for another one. B and J. B and J. So B and J. Okay. So if you look here. Uh, we call this out. This one is a good. I like this play a lot, actually. And, and you it, could see it here. Hit the target it, that you mentioned too. It hit exactly where I said it, which is right on the moving day average at sixty-two. So it went from here to here. So it's about a two-dollar move. Again, uh, just like about a thirty percent win right there. Kristen Weasley, we could get you that webinar, no problem. Dominic Bell, I got you. Mar Marta Smith, uh, you're gonna have a, men a gentleman named Anthony reach out to you. He works with us. He's our team member. He's going to help us out and get you all everything you need, all the resources for you. 
Um, what's next? And the other one we got looked at was plug. Again, plug was another one. Uh, I like this one. I even I think even for now, I don't know if I'd continue it, but it's very similar to run. Yeah. So I like that it broke out over here and it went a little bit. It wasn't a huge win, but it was a win indeed, all the way to 27. And yes, so that's about it right there. So again, five for five guys today. How we do this, I don't even look at place for you guys. I'm going to take your stocks. I'm going to pick the best ones, and I'll tell you which one I like, and then we'll call those out, and we'll come back on Tuesday. What's up, Victor, uh, Victor, Leo? How are you, man? I haven't seen Leo in a while. We're, we're tuned. So let's get, let's get into the market first. So market is exactly what I've been telling you guys. It's in a downward circle, right? And we're not – I told you, look, it is stuck between this green line. So if you go back to Tuesday – Exactly what I said. This is the line. And what did it do? Bounced exactly off that line. It's a moving day thing. It's going to continue doing it. We do not want to touch the market. We are not touching this market because it has formed a perfectly normal channel. While everybody else is going crazy because gas prices are up and all this stuff. Yes, we've gotten some negative momentum going. It's okay. It's a bearish momentum. We just got to wait till we get to that right point. Um, again, I'm waiting for this to break back up. While we do this, we're going to pick good stocks, but I would not be too crazy about it. Just take it. Let's take our time in that. Cool. So definitely not investing in the market. Where to next? Let's no, select the right now. We're gonna, if you are looking for me to look at some stocks, please let me know what the stocks are. Clove. Clove? Clove is the first one. Uh, C-L-O-V. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> C-L-O-V. So Clove, did we just talk about this? Maybe. I not, think not on... Oh, yeah, Tuesday. Someone did yeah, somebody that. mentioned it on Tuesday. Same thing, guys. I mean, it, I told you I you could invest because it broke a little bit. I just don't like these stocks. Um, and I told you, I guess, I mean, it could be good. But again, the, the decreasing volume already is coming down. There's a little bit more of a bearish momentum. And over, overall, if this stock has a few days, there's a good chance it pops down every single time. So same thing I said last week, still saying it a few days ago, same, same thing, nothing changed. Uh, How's everybody doing, man? Calvin Roa, Dale <clears throat> Bindig, what's up, man? Ra Rowley Leacon, how are you? Candace Cooper, a lot of you guys in the building today. As Bucci Ron, how are you? Jose Zuniga, Lucky Live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Which next? Uh, Walmart. Walmart, yep. Walmart's looking all right right now. So it has a very, pretty good day. I told you about this uh, the other day. Actually, it's funny we talked about this. I said I, I could see it kind of coming down a little bit, but not too much. But overall, I would be okay with it. And look what happened. It went down the last two days, mm -hmm. and now it's coming back up. And the fact that it's breaking 200-day moving okay. average is looking good. Now, we got to be careful with this line here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go back a little bit on this one maybe do a, a year chart to really kind of give us an idea here of what, what we're seeing because i want to make sure you guys see the full picture full picture here look at this so we got this over here um looks like it came up look what happened it's hitting this resistance so we are looking actually for this to break here if it breaks 144 we are looking at something really good if it breaks 147 even better but I think 144, I'd be very interested in the stock. Overall, it is on my watch list. Uh, I'm just a little concerned, even though I had a good day, it's still in decreasing volume. So that's a problem too, which means it may not hold and may reject again. So we have to wait and see once it goes into this little channel right here and see how the volume is looking. Until then, we shall meet again. Where to next? Uh, EVGO. EVGO. All right, EVGO is, um, I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't remember talking about this one. Um, looks like it's a little stretched out. So I like the fact that it broke to the 200-day moving average. It had a few good days. But now you're seeing it had a, a this is a perfectly bearish signal. Has an inverted ha candle here. You have a, a doji, which is an indecision. So it's only right for this to kind of come down before it comes back up. It could come back up again because I, I like how it's forming a channel. It's going to form this channel on the long term, which I like. Right. But at the same time, 
if we take the Fibonacci here and uh, put it through, you could see, um, I could see this coming right back down to the 200 day and then reversing. So we want to wait for that to happen. Otherwise, we're taking too many risks. Um, we got Amazon, and that was the question. Um, should we buy in before the stock splits? Um, so I think of Google right away when I hear that. Uh, yeah, I know. That's the been, been I, saw, I saw this in the news. So it's, it's going to 20 to 1 split. Yeah, it's a lot. So what that means is if we do, what is it? How much is it worth it's now? It's going to be like. We'll say $3,000 to make yeah, it. Now. About one fifty. So it'll be $150 a stock. Uh, what do I think? I mean, I've done plays like this. That I don't know if it's going to make a huge difference. I really don't. I will say um, a lot of people start buying into it to get it because they think it's a benefit. So the stock might go up, but it, a stock split is not going to give you any benefits. It's just going to be cheaper. It's just going to dilute your stock shares. That's all it does. So it's just to make it more attractive, which is fine. But I would just not go crazy with it if you want to do it, you know, just to get in on this. Great. It is a little bit of a risk, but historically, if you want to play it historically, and I'm not saying you should, not, but you know, if we look at the technicals here, it's kind of a, at a limit right now. Mm -hmm. But I could see breaking that because of all the hype. Hype could get it going. Uh, so if you want to play that, I could see this definitely with the, all the volume happening. I, I, you know, I wouldn't put all your freaking money on it, but. Why not? This is an opportunity to get something like this. Because last time we did talk about Google, we said, man, if Amazon does it, oh yeah, we but, should get it. But when, when Google announced it, it popped up and then it came back down to these yeah. levels. So it's like, I get, it, it it, here's what I will tell you. If, if it does pop, let it pop to 3,100 and above, then go in. Uh, so that's what I would recommend. Buy the hype, sell the news. The mm. stock is solid long-term, but TA isn't really replaced. Uh, yeah. Um, right now. Oh. It's kind of like what you were saying with a lot of hype behind it. Yeah, there's a lot of hype behind it. So, I mean, yes, yeah, so it, it's just a lot of hype. The thing about hype, and I, I will tell you guys, it, it, I, yeah, I hear a lot of sell the rumors, what is it, buy the rumors, sell the news. Yeah, or, right? yeah, yeah. yeah, buy the rumors, yeah the it's just, such, you know, there's a reason why a lot of people lose money on the market. <laughs> it's because it's you're still guessing. You're still guessing. A lot of times they don't go through. It, human psychology is just not, it doesn't work that way. You know, so you don't know what the news is going to do. You don't know how it's going to react. So that's why it's it's very stressful. Would I play this? I mean, if it goes above this area, I will, even though it's news driven, because I just feel like then everything's going to align. For me, that's how I play. I don't want to take risks like that. So that's just me. You know, I would not buy into it. I like to look 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 at the stocks myself, not play into the stocks. Mm -hmm. What's up, Vlad? How are you? Vlad Frankel in the building. Uh, great value as always. Uh, well, I think he's talking about us, so thank you. Uh, where to next? Uh, Velo, V-L-O. Vlad, I hope uh, everything's good with your family. I don't know if you have, I, I, I believe, I, I forget which part you're from, but I hope everything's good, man. Um, which Okay, so this one here, uh, this one could be a good situation here. I'm liking this one. So why do I like it? Well, because it goes into my balanced profit strategy, very similar. Again, if you haven't seen our webinar, check out comment webinar below. I show you the six simple steps I use for that. So definitely check it out if you haven't. But I like the fact that this stock is going A to B, B to C, C to D, A to B, B to C. And it looks like it's going a nice way. And not only that, it went down a little bit, has a hammer candle bouncing of this point with some decent volume and we've got a nice momentum going. So I think this could be a nice reverse back to 94. Don't know if it's going to break it, but I like the volume overall. And I think I would be very, I'm okay with going into this one. Um, I'm going to say this one's going to go up a little bit in the next few days. So I'm going to call this one out. We're going to VLO, my first stock I'm picking. Cool, cool. All right, where to next? Uh, ET. Like how you just like uh you're here you're texting you're, you're <laughs> answering people I love it, Elliot don't miss PFE just mentioned right oh, in the beginning. Yeah, I did miss that. Sorry. Bro, you do not mess with my Ukrainian <laughs> man right there. That's my boy, Victor is See, now I have to I have to you apologize. Said be nice, right? I oh. said be nice. Yeah. Be nice. All right, so this one here very similar. To what we just looked at. So looks like it went up and now it's kind of coming down. I like the. 
the new candle formed here. It is a little bit of less volume, but I would say I'm, I'm a fan based on history of this stock. We have a nice pull up here, nice up channel. Um, I think this would be a nice play if you play the right option, if you play the right option and maybe get up to uh, like 10.7, 10.6. So I like this one too. I think this could do pretty okay. Nothing crazy, but this could be one of those things you play every week. Hence the weekly profits. <laughs> uh, what's next? M U. M U. Like how the Ukrainian he knew, bro. Us Ukrainians, we know detail, bro. Uh, so this one here, like you can see this, this is a very uh, dangerous stock right now. You can see it went way below its 200-day average. So right away, you should not really be gambling with something like this. I will say it's kind of hitting here, kind of. So I like that. I do like that, that it's a very strong point that it did pick. But until it gets back around 82, personally, I wouldn't trade. I would not trade this stock. Once it gets there with the volatility here, we, I could say maybe we've got something going. But if you look here, all the momentum's to the downside. So I would not play this right now. Uh, Thank you for picking stocks for us, guys. We always appreciate you guys. Lucid, L-C-I-D. And while I look up Lucid, if you're enjoying the show, we, we got our heartbreak situation happen. Well, we, what that means is we want to we want to see you put some hearts in in the chat and see to see how much you love our show. If you do, if you don't, no big deal. Then we just we just feel the heartbreak. So that's how the heartbreak works. <laughs> see, like Melly's in the lead already, and usually we try to get 210 hearts, 250 hearts. And we've got wow, today is crazy. Look at that, 48 hearts just like that, bro. Good stuff. Thank you, Melly. Thank you, uh, Victor. Jim Carr, what's up? Yep, that's Jim. We just went over Amazon. I would, I, you know, I would, I would definitely recommend uh, checking it out, but not putting too much money into it. Thank you. Uh, wow, look at all the loves. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's get five more hearts. We want to keep the show moving, right? Amy Bolton, what's up? How are you? Thank you, guys. Thank you, Lori. Thank you. Oh, so many people. It's hard to see them all. My apologies if I didn't say your name. It's just a lot of names popping up now. Thank you. I appreciate that. There you go. See, that's the love right there. That's the love what I'm talking about. He, I don't want to mention uh, uh, Elliot because then you, you guys give it. You get more hearts and I don't understand <laughs> I don't. what it is. It, it, maybe it's bad breath or something I have. I don't know. But thank you guys. Appreciate it. Let's get back into it. What's up, Miguel Ayala? And if you're in here and you're not live and you're watching a replay, no big deal. We love you too. Just comment replay below. All right. So this one here is very similar to the one I just showed you. Actually, very similar to uh, SPY. So if you look here, you could see it's kind of bouncing off this green line and it's continuing to do so. So in general, this stock is just in a bearish channel. So why would we invest in it right now? Very simple. There's one reason you would not invest in it. And that reason is you don't. So very simple. I just would not right now mess with this stock. We'd want to wait till we get to 34 here for this one to really reverse the trend. Where to next? Thank you, guys. We appreciate the hearts, man. Thank you. E-T-R-N. <laughs> E-T-R-N. All right. This is an interesting one. So we got so, so far. Um, now, I like a lot of things I see here. I do. This is a good one, right? What do you think? Um, the pro There's a couple things. So I like that it broke through today with a nice candle. Beautiful momentum. Look at that momentum. That's looking good. We're looking really good. Here's the issue, though. The volume has been decreasing. So that could be just a quick thing. And, and we are hitting this resistance. So until it breaks this resistance, I'm not touching it. We need to see a stronger move there for this to happen. So uh, otherwise, it, because it has already such a big move, it could be considered kind of stretched a little bit, kind of stretched. So I could see what would happen here. My opinion is I could see that. I think this is going to go up eventually for sure. But I think this is going to get down to around here. I think it's going to get back. It's going to hit kind of like this point or maybe uh, consolidate maybe around 6.8, um, maybe 6.6, but I think around 6.8 and then start coming back up. That's my analysis. I'm 100% on board with you. You're my guy. Oh, thanks, bro. Look at Candice. Appreciate that. Huh? And much respect. XOM, what is energy? Uh, Zom, you don't remember Zom? No, no, I was thinking about Actually, uh, so real quick, uh, uh, you guys see what happened here to the stock? 
this is what I think is going to happen to the other one. So it just kind of, it just kind of, it gives you that look. So it goes up, kind of comes down. I think it probably will go up again. So we just have to, again, it's not about me thinking. My thoughts is one thing. It's about proof, right? What, what, what my analysis is here. And you can see here, it goes up, down, went up and it comes down at our, you know, just has to kind of move there. But I'm going to look at it from the Fibonacci point of, to see if it hit this point where we needed to. And yeah, it's right in the 50 Perfect. mark. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say I like it, but I need to see just a little more. I know, I, I feel pretty good about it. Yeah. What do you think? Like the volume, I think it'll be even higher by the end of the day. I I'm like going to say I like this candle. one. I'm going to put Zom on because, uh, but I don't know. No, I can't. I can't because it's, <laughs> I'll tell you why. It's Exxon right now with the gas stuff going on. I don't want to risk that. It's too news, too much in the news. But I wouldn't be okay. I would be okay with investing it for a longer term because you could see it's been bouncing around this area for a while. So I don't think even if it goes down to 80, it's not a big risk because I think it would rebound. But make sure you're not doing anything short term options because it will screw you. Mm -hmm. Val Adred, what's up? Calvin Roa, Tesla, PFE. We haven't heard about Tesla in a while. That's weird. A lot of people used to look at that one. So Tesla, I mean, Tesla, I'm sorry. Oh, what am I doing here? Hmm. What am I doing? Uh, this one here looks like it's beginning to, it's beginning to look a lot like green candle. So it's, you could see that this is a very interesting stuff right here. This is the good stuff we're looking for. This, st this stock right now is very close to breaking out of this pattern, which is awesome. And I think it's ready to do it. Um, I like everything I'm seeing over here. The volume's a little bit in, but I'm going to say, I, I think if this gets to 50, we invest. It has to hit 50 though to confirm that move. If not... What could happen is it could be coming back down a little bit. So please, please, please wait for the confirmation. But this is a good one. Yeah, I see why you called it out. <clears throat> yeah, and um, also, like, if you look at the long-term view of, I mean, so, like, where where the retracement is, if you want to, if you're okay with being patient on this one, I want to show you this. It's beginning to kind of start moving. Uh, let me see here. Let me get that right for you guys. Yeah, right there. So it's below the 50. So I would like exactly what I said. I would like to see it hit around this 50% line would be great. If it gets to 54, that's in the second channel. Then we're chilling. Then that's, the, that's amazing. But I think even the 50 it would be a great move. So that's my two cents on that one. What's the next? Uh, we got Gary Arford. B Arford. What's up, man? P. What is it? BP. Oh, so we've been doing a lot of gas stocks. Yeah, that's, the, that's at the top of, that's the only sector green today, really. Okay. Well, well yeah, because last it, I checked, sorry. So this one here, again, a lot, probably going to be a lot of rebounding going on because of the fact that they did get hit with all the, I heard the prices were a little different in, in gas right now. Around the country. But yeah, right now, this is one, this one's uh, too many gaps going mm. on with this one right here. There's too many of these little spaces. So it's, it's trying to find its way. Overall, it isn't a downtrend. I would just kind of look at it like, look, instead of worrying about day to day, it's too crazy. Let's wait till it gets around 32 and really, really start playing this channel that, that it usually is. So this channel here, I like. I like this channel, yeah. but we need to see it kind of stop taking the momentum, especially with gas prices. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes down to 27 because it's so news driven. So we have to wait. If it gets to 32, we're in. You're the most advice of all that I've found. You work off of what the market is doing. Huge. No self-interest and not a promoter. That's that's my point. Oh, two, though. It's probably only worth 0.025. Hey, man, I appreciated <laughs> everything. Yeah, we don't want to promote anything. But if you like my T-shirt, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, no, we, uh, when it comes to this live, we like to be very unbiased. I'm actually, that's all my, my whole philosophy in my coaching is, you know, whoever has my private coaching or Elliot is, we don't want to, we don't fall into the news. That's how you get manipulated. Oh, we don't want to, we don't want manipulation. But thanks for that. That's a, that's a really good comment, man. Thank you, Candice. I really appreciate that. I will remember that tonight. <laughs> I do. I remember things like that. Like, remember Candace said that? Huh? X. Exhibit. All right. Let's see here. 
So, you know, I was just showing you stocks. It's weird how this plays out. You guys show me stocks, and I told you I like that one, and I think it's going to do this. It was similar to this. So you see how we have this nice move? Once it breaks, look at that nice move. The problem here is, is we're still hoping it's going to keep going, and it could, but there's too much risk. It's too overly stretched. And you can see, try hitting here, and it, it got rejected. So you have a chance at any point to get into one of these situations. Look, look see how it could go up, 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 and then, ooh. Mm -hmm. Well, if, how often do you see it go higher than that? It just doesn't happen. Here's one. Oh, yay. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yay. Oh. And the, here's the secret. Look, when this goes up, right? See how this is going up here? Mm -hmm. And it, it, you continue thinking that, but the volume's going down. When it goes up, the volume's coming down. So that's the problem. Yes, the momentum is still up, but it's a lagging indicator. Volume is telling us it's time for a reversal. So glad I messaged. Uh, can you check your inbox, please? Uh, yeah, I will check it out. I don't think if I could do it right this second, but yeah, I will check it out. You, you, you like put the in Messenger. All right, cool. What's next? D V N. Probably see another similar thing like this. Maybe D V N. Oh, no, no D V N has been a very, very uh, solid stock. This is a very. This is what you call a healthy stock. Mm -hmm. So you could really play if you know what you're doing here. You could really look. In, in fact, I'm going to do something a little different that I usually don't do. I'm going to put this on a three month chart. I'm going to put a four hour chart because you could really play this on, on a very weekly basis, even a few days, if you understand these moves. So you could see here, like this stock knows to bounce off the 50 day moving day average, 50 day moving day average. Right now, it's in a consolidation in a four hour chart. So we just divided the day into two. Yeah. So to me, if this breaks, which looks like it could, this could be a good move. This could be a good move. You could see here, everything's kind of pointing in that direction. And here's the thing. Let's just say I'm wrong, because it could be wrong. Candace, zoom out. Zoom out? Uh, it's because you went to three months just now, so it kind of like zoomed in. Oh, okay. Is this good, though? <laughs> I don't know how it looks on. It looks all right on my phone here. Yeah, sorry if it doesn't look good. I apologize. But um, so on this, maybe she means over here. Yeah, so if you look here, you could see on this to me, I like that it's kind of coming together like that. It's already kind of ready to do its thing. We just need a little bit of a break. But even if it doesn't go, worst case scenario, it does go down here. It doesn't really leave this area. So, and if it does go down there, guess what? You know, it, it bounces pretty, uh, pretty high up. Yes, people want the last five minutes. The last five minutes? Oh, like a five minute chart? Hmm. Well, a five minute chart. So that's more of a day trading thing. I don't really do like if you want to do like something like uh talking about like a, like this. You know, so this is like a day. If you want to do a trade day-to-day -day trading, that's a little different. I do I focus mostly on swing trading. Day trading is a lot more aggressive. So that's a whole different world. So yeah, yeah I really try a lot, a lot of a lot of people are uh who are in day trading, they actually join our class and join our coaching because they don't want to be that aggressive, they want something a little more consistent after a while but it, it's really your personality personality gotcha i appreciate it thanks candace candace doing her thing today h-y-l-n h-y-l-n all right h-y-l-n so h-y-l-n this one also needs a little bit of a zooming but it's been very um it's been very consistent with this stock here's what it, what it's what happened here is it's been going through this downward channel. What? Antonio's comments, great. What do you say? <laughs> you were a singer. <laughs> I didn't see that. Oh. Uh, yeah, so over here, um, my question is, how did he know that? <laughs> uh, but here's what happened now. Now it's in the flat area right there. So now we're hitting these kind of points right here. Maybe around this area because it was a this was an extreme. So to me, I I don't really like this one right now. I'd like to see it go back to at least five dollars to see the breakout towards that area. Otherwise, we're just floating around into this channel, and you know I just don't think it's it's enough of that. Um, what's the next? Upside down pineapple man. 
<laughs> that's a, <laughs> yeah, upside down pineapple. That's a that must be some swinger code. Tesla. Tesla. Uh, <laughs> wait, what do you mean upside down? I don't know. Like, like kind of like if this was a pineapple. An upside down pineapple man. What the hell does it have upside? What is that? <laughs> is that a stock? No. I don't know what it is. It just sounds funny. You right? keep laughing at the upside down. What's a, what's an upside down I'm, pineapple? I'm just using my imagination. Like, look at that. Leo, thing. I want to know what's an upside down pineapple, man. Um. All right. So this one right here looks to me like we have. Um, so you see how we have this pink line over here? Um. It's kind of like it's coming together, and now it's in a very weird. Uh, territory it's like it's going to the downside but it's also stuck between this 200 day moving day average mm -hmm. so when i see this there's so many things we could say i think it could go up it could go down because we can't make a decision i stay away from it what i but i will tell you this if this gets to around like 950 ish we we will see some damage even before that i think because it's such a strong move here i think that could really help History lesson. If you go to the grocery store and put a pineapple upside down in your cart, it means you're a swinger looking for other swings. <laughs> is that that is fake news? No, and, no Antonio would know. Antonio, please let me no, know if that's accurate. It's like if you sag your pants and uh, that whole thing. And you need to go to the bathroom. Means. No, I mean, Antonio, please verify. <laughs> so so if I will let people know I'm not a day trader, I'm a swing trader, I got to put your pineapple upside okay, down. Okay, I see how it is. This show's going into bad areas here. What's uh, next? We got Costco decks. Cost, cost, uh, cost, yeah. All right, cool. So this one here. All right, guys. And if you're interested in my webinar, and if you're you feel like if this could really help you, just comment upside down pineapple below. Apparently, that's the thing. Upside down pineapple below, and we'll get you the webinar. Upside down pineapple, man. Yeah, because that's what it is. We, we do swing <laughs> trading here. So this one here is, uh, what's up, Mike Schmidt? Thanks, I'll remember that for a few. Cool. Yeah, we're learning some good stuff today. Um, this one could be pretty good, man. So we had a lot of volume coming up, and you could see it kind of ha had a little bit of an exhaustion right here, right there. Yep, you see it, right? So now the question is, how do we get this going? Uh, overall, I'm seeing a nice kind of like move this mm -hmm. way, but I feel like we need to break that. So there's a lot of stocks we're looking today. So I would say 545 is where I need to see the stock to get to the next level. Now we'll have to make a shirt. Yeah. Right? I don't know, man. Put a pineapple right here. Be like. So I'm going to have to go, go. You're going to have to send me some article here. I know no work. news is good news, but this is interesting news. <laughs> What's the next? HUSA. H U S A. H U S A. Anybody else knows about the upside down? Because I never heard of this upside down pineapple. That's great. That's, you know, um, whoever about. gave us H U S A is probably new here. Put some pineapples in the chat. I uh, Yeah, you could do that, I guess. I'm beginning to think it's something else. No, it's good. you got it's new good. slogan now. I don't know. I feel, feel like I'm the one kid who's not getting the joke, you know? <laughs> like everyone comes around to me, it's like Hitchcock calls me like a smog when you want to ride, you just put your thumb out there. Yeah, I guess. So this one here is uh is this is a very news-driven stock, went all the way up, and now it's just exhausted. Uh, this is straight up gambling. I would not recommend this. I don't trade things like this. Yeah. Although it is Houston America Energy, I was in Houston recently where Lori lives. It was a great place, great place to visit, but I would not invest in this. P-S-T-G. P-S-T-G. P-S-T-G is looking okay. Okay, so let's see. P-S-T-G. The thing about P-S-T-G is, oh, man, it's a little... I, loved, I wish I saw this uh, maybe yesterday, yeah. but I would say even though it's here, the volume's okay. I'm going to say if you're okay with taking... Um, a little bit of a loss before you get a gain. I think it will go up here, but I can't say for it. It's just hard, right? Because it's just a naked kind of. I'm going to say no, it's too much risk. There's a, it, it's, I'm, I'm divided into yeah. that and I don't want to make a I'm call just like real that. Curious about that big gap, too. Like, yeah. what's that about? Yeah, that, I'm, yeah, it's a little bit of a gap. I'm just with all the news going on, it's pure storage. I'm not familiar with it, but I, I just don't know. I'm not too sure. I wouldn't be opposed to it, but the volume was just throwing me off. It's not enough volume for me mm -hmm. to see it go back up there. So I would say I think it might come down a little bit. Maybe then it, we could look at it again. Um, POW. P-O-W-W? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, POWW hasn't made too much action right now. So, uh, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm trying to pick out some good stocks for you guys. A little tough today, but th- we got already. We got a couple already. What gaps usually fills the gap? What gaps usually fills the gap? It's just a matter of time. What's other than that? Feel like how much can a woodchuck chuck? chuck? <laughs> so this one here is what was you mean by what gaps? Oh, the gap usually- from a like all gaps get filled type of yeah. thing. Yeah. Oh, is that what it sounds yeah. the the it sounds that the feds was uh hurting my tongue. Hurting my tongue. All right. <laughs> yeah, this one right here, um, not in a good position right now. It's kind of in the consolidation, waiting to see what it's gonna do. It's in, it's in between lines right now. It's in between these uh, short term, long term. If it breaks here like five two five, I need to see it get out of that zone, and then I think it could start chasing away. Running, running away with its uh, pineapples at hand. What's your next? A S T S. What is it? A S T S. A S T S. Okay, so A S T S had a big run, and guess what? Just like everything else, it it hit this two hundred day moving average and rejected, Matumbo style. Stuff. Looks like uh, Giannis at the Takumpo kind of block, you know, like Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, but uh, yeah, overall, yeah, it's great volume. It was just very news driven. It came down, and I think it's, it has a good chance to come right back down where it was and continue its move. It doesn't seem like a stock that just gaps up and goes. Again, you could see here it goes up and then just kind of comes down. Anytime it gaps up, it just comes down. It's in a very dangerous territory. Every time it does this, and, and this has been the biggest gap it's had in a long time. In fact, yeah, last time was over here, and it, it didn't look good after that. So definitely would not mess with that. Just got to look at history. That's all. All right. BKR. She, oh, the Fed thing. She was talking about how POW sounds like POW. Sounds like the Feds. Oh. Uh, BKR. BKR. All right. BKR. BKR. Let's see. Uh, Leo, where did you hear about this whole upside down thing? I'm curious where he gets his facts from. He's just, a, I mean, Leo's know, a very intelligent man. Hmm? How do you know that? Hmm? All right. So this one right here kind of went up. Had, again, same thing. We just, we literally looked at a stock like this. It went up, down, up, but it's so stretched out. The volume is still pretty good, but it was really good to the downside. I'm going to say right now it's lower. This needs to come down a lot more. This is a very uncharacteristic thing for the stock, so I don't see it moving up anymore. Maybe a little bit, but not enough to take a risk on it. Anil Mita, what's up, brother? I'm sorry when I said fill the gaps. That's what I meant regarding FOMO and the gap. Oh, I gotcha. Gotcha. You get excited, can't you? Just keep going. What's next? XPEV. XPEV way below its averages. So this one right here is way below its averages. So because of that, you know, the stock's just in a very bearish territory. I mean, and if we have to go back just to, if I want to be positive, which I'm not on this situation here, but let's just say I want to let, you know, let's go back a little bit more just because, you know, why not? So we go back to a year, you could see it. Even at, at a year's point, I could see this stock here hitting this next support. If anything, maybe like do a bearish play, but not, not anything else. What's up, man? Anil, namaste to you. Shukriya for joining. What's up? What's next? Um, F cell. They just had earnings this morning. What is it? F uh, C E L. F C E L. Okay. F C E L. Oh man, it's close. So this stock's been moving up, but Again, at the same time, our stocks like to be moving in a certain direction. I want to show you something here a little different. You know, if I put a, a reverse Fibonacci in here, look at this, guys. It is officially hitting this mark. So there's, there is a good chance, a good chance that it, if, unless it breaks this 50-day moving average, 200-day uh, moving average, I'd be good. But there's also a good chance it could fall a little bit lower, if, you know, in that case but yeah that's what i would say on this one uh it's common knowledge but like, well, look it up in google and i'll explain it in depth okay is that common knowledge uh, i didn't know about it i didn't Elliot, know. i think you're I'm lying. Not the common man, i guess i don't know we gotta take a vote swinger. we gotta take a vote about this upside down i'm still not sure what this is but 
you know, pineapple upside down. Uh, okay, but explain to me why the pineapple. What's the, the bottom of the pineapple looks like a um, sofa. It looks like a sofa. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, this one's also way below its averages as well. So you could see um, what? It's just funny. That's such a random thing I learned okay. today, man. Oh yeah, Candace, I have the same thing. I I, I act before I I'm just, just talk too quick. Um, I remember doing my training. I created videos. I I talk very slow to make sure everybody understands. Took a lot out of me. Took a lot out of me. But <laughs> to yeah, slow it down. to slow it down and talk so people could really understand. Um, yep. So here, this is a good one, but not really. It's way below its averages. It's it's in a downward cycle, uh, dropping in volume. Everything else is kind of looking to the low side. If you're ever looking for a sugar mama, let me know, and I'll let you know how to find it. You may have it. to put like a watermelon sideways or something. Yeah, right. <laughs> all right. Well, I know I know what Leo. Leo has a lot of talents. <laughs> He's on Reddit, man. BTU. Yeah. He knows how to, he does own a restaurant, a great Mexican restaurant. He owns a, oh, he's great man. in stocks, phenomenal in stocks, and he's great in pineapples. Hilarious. This is good. Uh, we got BTU. Oh, sorry. You got it. Um, yeah, BTU is also a little stretch to me. Uh, I usually like things that bounce off the averages, but I, I like it when it goes in this direction, not this. So what I'm seeing here is more of a, like a, rising channel but also kind of like a i feel like almost like a rising wedge a little bit a little bit right like that that's fair what you have there yeah so usually when that happens it's kind of it, it, there's a good chance it might calm down a little bit a little stretched out for me yeah i can say anything after one okay cool let's see uh what, what's next uh neo nio yeah. <laughs> All right, Neo, Neo, Neo. I made it out of clay. All right, Neo, let's see here. Yeah, Neo's looking again very much with all these averages way below it. Um, just all these stocks you guys are picking. And if you could see the volumes going up to the bearish side, I would not uh, want to invest in something like that right now. Uh, we've been looking at this. Every time we see Neo, it's like everybody hopes it's going to do something. It, you know, it's going to take a long time. We've got a lot to go on that one. Which next? Um, Anybody else have any other stocks? One. Cool, cool, guys. So really important, guys. If you like the show and you want to support us, again, we, we uh, definitely check out the webinar. It's totally free. Just comment webinar below. You don't have to comment pineapple or nothing. Uh, comment webinar below. We'll send you the list. We'll check on CLF in a second, Zach. Uh, of Neo with the kind of sure. economic view. I would not invest in Neo right now. Yeah, not to the upside. I, I would not invest in Neo. Um, and guys, if you're interested, there's a lot of members in here who are paid members of, of our coaching program. If you're really looking to possibly do this to maybe leave your job, or if you're just trading now and you're just tired of losing all the time and actually want to make some consistent gains, I would recommend just comment coaching below so we could uh, set up an uh, interview with you and see if this could be maybe the answer for you to do, do for a living. It's actually a lot of fun, believe it or not. Uh, Brian Parrish will get you that webinar, no problem. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Mark Cunningham, we got oh, oh Zachary CLF. Yeah. Um, Candace, no problem. Steel's all looking the same as it should, right? Uh huh. Steel that those yep, metals. Yep. Absolutely. And uh, let me see. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to check it out. Check it out here. All right, so this one here, it was, oh, man, again, a little too late on this. This was a really good breakout here. I really like it. And it's still going on. It's still going on. I like that it came down. I like the volume. I would say on this one, I could see it going up a little bit. But, 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 wait a minute. There it is. It needs to break that line. So I'm going to say no on that one because of all the, it's too stretched out and we have to be really careful with this one. So plus the volume is decreasing. Sorry about that. Spoke too soon. Changed my mind. Not, Sometimes just, that's what will kill it. For me, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I don't want, I don't want to give anybody bad uh, advice here. I just had to over, rethink a little bit. What's next? Um, H-A-L. Halle Boyton. H-A-L. Come on, be a good one. All right, not bad. Not bad. H-A-L. So H-A-L looks like it's breaking out. 
Do you? Ah, oh, man. I, you know, I kind of like this one. A little more than the other. It, it looks like some of these other, like DVN, B, not BP. BP was nasty, but there's a lot of energy stocks that you've covered today that look like this. But this one has, I feel like, the most volume out of all of them, but still decreased. It's like, eh. um, yeah. <sighs> it's tough with this sector right now, really. Yeah, I'm going to say, um, it's kind of up already, right? So we have to wait. But yeah, we would need to see it come down a little bit more. We need to see it go back to the average just because of where it's at. So yeah. Uh, where's your next? HTZ? Uh, uh, VZ. VZ. And I see HTZ before that. HTZ? Yeah. Uh, HTZ. This could be very close. This could be a good one. Not yet, but. You could see it's forming this line here really, really close to that 50 day moving day average. Do not invest in this right now. Now, but there are a couple things I like about it. Because first we could say, hey, it could bounce again from this. You see all these bounce downs, but I like this consolidation that it's breaking out of. Very nice. Volume's not too bad. It's not bad. We just need a good confirmation. If it breaks to 22, guys, invest in this. That's what I'm going to say. But it has to break, get break 22. Has to break 22. What's your next? Um, VZ. No, Verizon. Oh, Verizon, Verizon. So Verizon's been riding the 200-day moving day average. That's what it looks like. It could be a good move because it's because if you look, am I right? It's kind of like in this area right here. So it keeps hitting. So if it gets reversed, what I would say for me to be okay with the stock, get to 54. 54 breaks that because every time it seems like it breaks that it does have a good move to the top but it has to get there otherwise you are risking you are risking to see uh uh yeah some serious situations here so i would not invest in it until it gets that area you it's all about that confirmation cool all right where to next um it's exhausted no huh? that, that was that's all we had for now cool guys yeah, we had some good stocks today. So yeah, like I said, man, if you're interested in uh, checking out my five steps that I use to trade every time, uh, definitely uh, going to uh, recommend you do, checking out the webinar, comment <clears throat> webinar below. I see a lot of you guys already did that. Um, and if you're interested in coaching, like Candace is interested, and I know a lot of people in here, you could talk to them. They've done our coaching programs. A lot of them are making great money. You know, we had people who were making 100K in three months. We had a guy who made, believe it or not, it's pretty crazy. Uh, one of our guys, uh, one of the few, first people I trade trained, uh, Sergio, he ended up making $144,000 in one day. Yeah, that was one day. Insane. That was crazy. Remember that? And then he, and then he followed it up with a $200,000 a month, which you know, obviously I'm, you know, only, he only did it. It all took him 30 <laughs> days, 30 days to do 200. Come on. But yeah, it's pretty incredible what some people could do. Obviously, it depends on your risk tolerance and things like that, but pretty incredible. Pretty incredible. He actually ended up opening up his own real estate firm now. Mm -hmm. So he's doing it. It's pretty cool. It was one of his dreams he always wanted to do. But yeah, uh, anything else? CNQ slid in. What is it? CNQ. CNQ. CNQ is a little stretch right now. So it looks like every time it goes up, we need to see it come down to the 55. Good stock, though. If it goes to 55 and we'll see another like candle like this one here, we could see a good move. Uh, how do you guys feel about penny stocks? I don't trade penny stocks, George. Uh, they're just very, um, very risky, unfortunately. Yeah, we don't do that. So uh, they're, they're not regulated. It's just a lot of, uh, yeah, uh, Leo, I agree. I agree with you on that one. Sorry about that. But thanks for asking. I appreciate it. Chris Lydic, what's up, man? Got you with the webinar. Anybody else have anything else you want me to review? If you're enjoying the show, real quick, can we get a few more hearts? If you're new here, I'd love to see you. Just kind of give us a little bit of hearts. And if you want to just leave a, a comment of how you're enjoying the show, I love to read these. So please let me know if you what you think about the show. No problem, George. I got you. I'll give you a little... Thank you, Victor. Thank you, Spasiba. And everybody who, uh, again, I got a few more comments about people, you know, because you guys know I'm Ukrainian. If you don't, I'm Ukrainian. But you guys reached out to me about the, my family and find, finding out if I'm okay and how my family. Really appreciate that, man. Seriously, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. Uh, let me see. We got JD here. 
Uh, yeah, way too below. It's way too bearish, way too stretch. I would stay away from it. I would not touch this for a while, especially the fact that it has so much volume to the bearish side. Very dangerous. I think they had earnings too. Been in the game a minute. You're in the first that I think is going to give you what... Uh, uh, been in the game a minute. You're the first I think is going to give you what I need. Okay, I'm, I'm learning to read. Okay, got it. Thank you. Thank you. I just need to... Candace types like me. So it's very... Hey, my thoughts on lemonade. L M N D. L M N D. Wait, who was that? Is that somebody new? I don't remember that. Charles Ruby. What's up, Charles? How are you? Um, so L M N D lemonade. So overall, I mean, the company itself seems like uh, just kind of going to very downside right now. I'm gonna have to look at it a little bit further out. You seem like a serious gentleman, and you think, you know, I've never seen you. I don't remember him. Exactly. want to make sure we give him the good, the good uh, analysis here. Let's go to two years. So the stock itself is somewhat still new. It's not that old. I remember when it had the IPO. It was a big deal. But since it opened, if you notice, there's a green line here. It's a 30-day moving day average. It hasn't passed it in a very long time. The last time it did, and again, the first 200 days is always kind of like, identity of the stock and you can see once it hit this identity which 200 days was right here that's when the when it started that's why the red line started here since then it's been going in a downhill fashion it cannot find any momentum to the upside so to me if you're looking if you're in it you know you want to stay in it then you can stay in it uh if you're looking to get in it i wouldn't recommend it i don't see it coming down there's nothing that's showing us any momentum to the upside and realistically, until at least, at least it gets to 26, realistically, 32. And you could see 32 would really start kind of shifting this way. It'll break that 50-day moving day average. And that's what I'm saying now, assuming assuming that it starts a reversal. But we haven't seen it in, yeah. man, I mean, it's a very long time since really July was the last time it had any kind of um, momentum shift. So not something I would trade in right now. And I know about buy low, sell high. It's you got to know when the reversal happens. Cause guess what? <laughs> this thing's been by buy, buy low here, buy low here, man. How low can we go? But it could keep going because there is no history for it to be, to see how low it usually went. So because there's not enough history on that, you stay away from that. Hopefully that helps. Um, I'm sorry. I forgot the name. I apologize. Who said lemonade? Lemonade. Um, Charles. Charles. Okay. Yeah, hope that helps, Charles. I've I've got kids. Sorry, time is of the essence. Lemonade was marked heavily, but the fundamentals of TA aren't good. And my buddy Nate Russell, he's trying to view the program. I love he he will request it to be added. Can you add him real quick? Go to our member. Can you add or no? No. Russell. Um, is it Nate Russell? Huh? I forget. I saw a Nate Russell earlier. But yeah, we're about to finish the show, anyways. But um, we'll check. To, like physically. Adam as a friend. Yeah, I did Adam by the way. So hopefully he could he could join. He could check out the replay if anything. Yeah. What's up? Whoever just joined. No problem, Charles. If you have any other questions, man, you're more than welcome to come in and ask. No. Thank you for that uh input. Uh Candace Cooper, because uh, then others people are watching. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So oh, we got more stocks here, huh? Yeah, uh, two more. Go ahead. That's, that came in. Plant? Uh, yeah, P L N T. P L N T. Mm, Can so we review plant, your top five? Um we only have one today. So yeah, far. I've out of all the ones I've seen, I haven't seen maybe PLNT could be a good one. Oh, man, I want it to be good. All right, I'm gonna say I want to. I don't want to force something. Yeah, no, no. So Thursdays, just so you know, Thursdays are a little tough because it, it, Fridays are sellout. So I, I really like to just review it. My top five really comes on Tuesdays. That's a yeah. a lot more easier to call out. But you know, here if you notice a lot of the plays I'm saying, we let's wait a little bit because they're, we're ready for those setups. I did like the uh, VLO. VLO, and that's because it starts with a VL like my name. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this one here, looking pretty good. I like the stock. I just don't like the decreasing volume, and I don't like that it's hitting the resistance. But there's good momentum. I think this could be good. I would not invest in it yet, but I would put it on um, notify. Uh, what do you call it? Watch uh, right, list. Yeah. On a watch list. Cool. Um Ace Bush, can we review the top five? Okay, yeah. So yeah, um, if I see something, let's uh, see. PLTR. 
But I would recommend always checking out Tuesdays for those plays. And here's what we review it. But that's just me. So this one here has been, it's kind of been doing the same thing. Very similar to kind of lemonade, but on a shorter term. Just hitting that uh, moving day average. It's just a bearish stock. It's lucky it got to 20, but usually what happens? Just look at the pattern. Every time it gets up here, down. A little bit of an up, trying to, down. A little bit of an up, down. A little bit of an up. When was the last time we saw the 50-day moving day average? But if we do see it break, that could be something good to look at. One more HCC. I think we looked we at did. HCC. It makes me wonder why this is being, being brought up so much, huh? Yeah. Um, HCZ, like I said, I, I think this could be a good one. We just have to wait. And, and actually, since we've talked about it way it back, I told you guys, I like this. This should be on a watch list for sure. It's ready to kind of break out of this. And since we talked about it like uh, 20 minutes ago, it's already beginning to show some light. This could be a good one if you want to take a risk on. Uh, obviously, I would recommend like just come, coming a little bit like 22. I think I said I'd like, I want to see it at 22. If it gets 22, you're good. But we want to wait. You want to be the one that gets into it at the right time. Cool, Charles. A anybody else have anything else you want us to review? And again, guys, you know, what we specialize in is one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching. I would love to uh, help people out. We have a, right now, I know we are basically booked, but we are putting, doing a waiting list for the next batch, you know, so we could only take in 15 people a month. So it's a little tough, but if you're interested, we are doing interviews right now and would love to work with you one-on-one -on -one and help you become an amazing trader so you could leave your job and do what you love and, and stop taking losses on trades if you are. I know it could be very aggravating. Uh, Pat, no, there was no such thing. There, there's no stock, Pat. Uh, so yeah, guys, overall, man, it's been an absolute pleasure to deal with you guys today. Thanks for everybody for joining. Thanks for inviting other people. Really appreciate every single person here. We will be back here on Tuesday, okay? Tuesday, I'm going to probably come up with some good plays based on the market. Again, I just wanted to make sure you understand the market's in a place where we need to see a reversal. It could happen by Tuesday. I'm not sure, uh, but we're going to have some amazing plays as usual. And I'm hoping everybody learned today, man. So Priya Kar Karki, welcome. Um, and again, everybody, thank you for joining. Anybody who taught me about pineapples and everything, thank you for that as well. And Again, guys, I will be seeing you soon. Felix, nice seeing you as well. I just saw you join. Melly, thank you. Um, yeah, guys, we will see you Tuesday.